Hey guys, Chamberlain here and welcome back to the channel. Today, I don't know why I did that, but today we are, well I am reviewing some more Disney Cars on the Road characters. Now these three are from the Road Rumblers episode, so yeah, that's quite exciting. Today we have Road Rumbler Mater, who are found in a Smiths, not around where I live. I went to click and collect uh, the Thomas Friends Hyperglow station and I found Road Rumbler Mayor on the shelf. Road Rumbler Lightning McQueen, who I found, I think, in a B&M. It was either a B&M or a Smith's. So, yeah. And Jeremy, who I think I, who I think is, what well, was found in a B&M for me. So, yeah. We will start with Jeremy. There's the full background on the card, because you couldn't see it before, but now you can. So yeah, this is Jeremy. He's the only one that really listens to Mesa and McQueen's speech in Road Rumblers. And goes for a drink with them at the nearest gas station or petrol station as we call them in the UK. So yeah, that's his backstory. And if, if you don't know why he has weapons on him, and if you have not watched Cars on the Road, go and watch it, because it'll take me a long time to explain the Road Rumblers episode. So yeah, it's better for you to just go to Disney+, Plus, create an account if you haven't got one, subscribe to them if you uh, have not already. I'm not being paid to say this. I wish I was, but I'm not. Because um, Disney Plus is a fantastic way to see Disney Plus only series like Cars on the Road. Because it's not being brought to DVD. It was not put in cinemas first. It was just put. It was just put straight on to Disney Plus. So yeah. And it's the easiest way to see the Road Rumblers episode until it gets put onto YouTube in a few months, hopefully, because they've been. Because some YouTube channel has been putting the Cars on the Road series onto YouTube when it's supposed to be a Disney Plus only series and Disney and Mattel have not done anything about it. Well, Disney have not done anything about it because Mattel do not own the rights to Disney Cars. They only, they only, um, well, they only own the rights to the diecasts. So yeah, just go and watch the Road Rumblers episode on Disney Plus of Cars on the Road because it will take me ages to um tell you what happens well wh why the two factions are fighting yes there's two factions that fight one this is spoilers and this is all i'm explaining one faction is with what jeremy's in and it is the petrol powered or diesel powered or gas powered uh cars the gas cars it was then that actually take fossil while well, they run on fossil fuels which gets our engine of petrol diesel or gas um, and then electric cars, who take power from the sun and that, and the wind, and water, but yeah. Actually, no, they, then they'd be hydrogen cars. But anyway, that's all I'm explaining. Just go and find the rest out on Disney Plus yourself. Okay? Right. Now let's get to looking at the diecast of Jeremy. If I can get his cardboard open. Come on. Come on. There you are, Jeremy. Oh, that is a weird, weird feeling. Maybe a matte finish again. I don't really like the matte finishes on cars, but I, I get that they have to sometimes do them. So, yeah. So, here is Jeremy. Add them line people that have watched videos on YouTube of this. Oh, is that about to come off or something? See how that's wobbling, guys? That has not been put in properly. What about this one? Yeah, that one has. That one's just wobbling about. So I don't know if that's a fault with my Jeremy or not. But yeah. Yeah. People on YouTube have said these are metal spikes. They're not. They're just plastic rubber. Which I quite prefer to the, to the metal spikes. 
because when it's with viewers and they're doing this like pushing it in or something if it's come out then you don't want to push any metal spikes it'll just go in your go in your finger fingers or thumbs make it an indent and then you start bleeding so yeah and this video is not made for kids i should say that earlier but yeah i don't know what they're supposed to be on these headlights but yeah i love the little grill i love the little faces pulling as well so yeah he has a hammer which i think is actually plastic and you can only just move it up to there and down if you move if you've moved it up any more i think well i got it up to there but only because that i bent so yeah just move it back down to there so yeah i love that little panel there that's a different color i think that's the only die cast bit on here but it's just been painted in a matte finish same there i love the little windows as well now this device i believe is a flamethrower but i could be wrong but i think makes us the same sort of device hang on uh yeah mate's flamethrower is a bit different to that one there so yeah maybe a flamethrower it may not be but yeah that is jeremy i'm sorry this is, took six minutes to tell you that, that is jeremy but yeah I quite like him. But now we are going to get on to Road Rumbler Mater. Yeah, sorry about the rant at the start of this video, guys. But yeah. So this one was found in the Smiths when I was collecting uh, the Thomas and Friends Hyperglow Station. I may get a second one at some point. I may not. But yeah. God. Ah, their diecast metal. Rather, I think they're diecast metal, but just blunt metal. Out? No, they're not. They're not sharp, so they can cut you, but they're still flipping sharp. So yeah, what the heck? The heck is that on his on his bit of blue? Not sure, it's probably meant to be there. It's probably meant to be a bit of rust showing through. It's blue, so yeah. If that's the case, fair enough. But yeah, I don't really like how all the spikes were put on Mater like this. That's the first time we've actually seen a dent on Mater, I, I do believe. I think that's the first time we've seen it on one of his die casts. I don't have another Mater near me to check. Sugar. But yeah. Hang on, I'll zoom in for you. Because I'm too high, I've got to burn it down. But yeah. Oh no, it's his fuel cap. Ignore me. Ignore me. It's his fuel cap. So yeah, that's his fuel cap. I thought it was a dent. It's not. But yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay with that face. A lot of people do not like this face for some reason. But yeah, I quite like it. Yeah. Um, air horn. Which one guy said was really flimsy and it could come off. That's not going to move unless you really budge it. Maybe the front bit will, but that bit will not budge. Yeah, mate, it's flamethrower. So, yeah. I do like that flamethrower. Then his mace. Yeah, he gets some mace put on his tow cable or his tow hook. So, yeah. But yeah, that is Road Rumbler Mater. And now, oh, sorry about the darkness. We get on to Road Rumbler Lightning McQueen. Who won YouTuber, I'm not going to name names, but one YouTuber wanted all of these spikes to be diecast metal and this uh, side piece and the Chevrolet beard thing. And they were very disappointed when they found out it was rubbery plastic. Like, I, I was sort of hoping it would just be hard plastic, not actual soft plastic like it is. 
Ow, that hurt. So something hurt me. But yeah, I'm not surprised I went down the route of, um, and that bit hurt me, so that's hard plastic. Right, that's what I was expecting these side bits to be, hard plastic, that you could still move. That is die cast metal up there. So it's spoilers die cast metal, which I don't mind. These rubbery plastic, rubbery plastic. So yeah, I don't mind that because imagine like like the quarter talk star or Jeremy. If you left, if a kid left this on the floor after playing with it and parent didn't see it, I don't know how because he's bright red. But if the parent didn't see it and just stepped on it, that would hurt if it was full diecast metal. Because actually that is hurting a bit, but as long as it's not being pierced into anyone's skin then I'd say it's fine. So yeah. Ah, that's not soft rubber anymore. That is hard plastic that you can just pull a bit. So these later ones then have been put to hard plastic for here. And I think that is hard plastic, but it, actually no. See, it does seem like soft plastic still, but it's really sharp. Well, not sharp, but a bit hard when you put your finger on it like that or if you step on it which I'm not doing for the video but yeah I love the face as well I love the little uh, black bits around his mouth the dirt that's been kicked up on his mouth even but yeah apparently the Disney Store version does not does not roll well of this but yeah when was he made so he's made in the ninth week of 2023 so quite early on in factory A okay and then the little layer intake there as well but yeah, that is not a bad Road Rumble Lightning McQueen, to be honest. And I quite like him. So yeah. Let's get the other two back in. And just shot. And we'll put Jeremy in the middle. So yeah. There you are, McQueen. We'll put you like that. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this review of Cards on the Road Diecasts. So it's been a while since... Well, for this one to come out, because I've had these for ages these are the three i've had for ages and just never got around to reviewing them but yeah, now i have and i hope you have enjoyed it i'll see you guys all next time take care and bye bye